Meanwhile, back here at the lab, it's time for a game of virtual bat and ball. But the weird thing is, I can actually feel the ball. The problem with controlling our devices using gestures, pushing virtual buttons and handling virtual objects is that your fingers don't actually connect with anything in the air. That is, unless you use this device. It uses ultrasound to make a particular point in space vibrate. If your finger happens to be there, you can feel a weird buzzing sensation at a tiny point on your skin. This does feel a little odd. I grant you, it doesn't really feel like there's anything solid between my fingers, but when I pinch the right spot in the air, it kind of feels like someone's blowing the tips of my fingers through a straw. That's strange. The team behind this phased array of ultrasound transducers, always wanted to say that, hopes to do more than just create a buzz. In the future, you may be able to feel different temperatures, different materials, and even pain as the head of the lab, Professor Mike Fraser, explained. There's an established language or grammar for using multi-touch interfaces, pinching and zooming and scrolling, and we would like to establish a, a similar or related vocabulary for the ways that people feel their devices. For example, something is wet, something is dangerous. Yeah, some th the, the idea that, that I could feel this and it would tell me some information. I, I could uh, feel what was happening in a tennis game or I could understand how the, how the Grand Prix was going by feel virtue. Feel the spin of, on the ball or absolutely, the, grip the, spin the, on the ball or the, or the grip on the friction on the, on the road, that kind of thing would be fantastic. 